Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about the classification of methods. Classification of methods. In the previous videos, we already discussed so what is a method and what is the static method and what is the instance method and how to invoke the methods also we have seen. Classification of methods means what? In how many ways we can define the methods? See, strictly there are four ways. If you are perfect in all these four classifications, you can understand every program. So what are the four classifications? The first one, the method without parameters. Without parameters means, so what is the purpose of parameters? Passing input to the method. Without parameters means what? The method is not taking input and no return values. The method is not giving any value. Second one is method with parameters, nothing but taking input and no return values. The third one, method with parameters and with return values, nothing but the method is taking input and returning the output also. Method without parameters, but return values is not taking input, but giving the output. So total, there are four classification of methods. See, let me explain with examples. The four classifications I'm explaining. Here the four classifications. The four classifications and how to invoke those methods also. I'll show you now. These are the four classifications. The first one, so let me give the names with input is taking input no is not taking input no input and no output no return values second one is taking input with input but no output third one is taking input and giving the output also written values Fourth one is not taking input, but giving the output. These are the four classifications. These are the four classifications we'll see. First one, method means we know already, just a block of instructions which contains the logic, which contains the logic. Here we write the logic. Now, the method must have an identity. I'm just writing the method name, M1. Just one name I'm taking, identity. Any name you can use. M1 is a method. Is it taking anything? No. So parenthesis should be empty. Parenthesis should be empty. And is it returning anything? No. So return type should be void. Here it is, written type should be void and we should not write a written statement. Please don't write, please don't write any written statement. I'll just strike out just to make you more clear. Written type is void. See, look at this. The classification is no input, is not taking input and no output. It is not returning any values. Please don't write the return statement in the method as there is no return type. Okay. And you must specify void type if the method is not returning anything. And look at the second one. Method with input. Suppose M2 is taking input. Input means what? Some values like integer value. 
sir how many values you can pass there is no limit any number of parameters you can pass one integer or two integers you can pass and here it is a logic any operation you can perform but again please don't write the return type because no return values because no return values so please don't write the return type no use so now the third one is with input and with output also see for example m3 i am taking the method is m3 see what it is taking same for example it is taking one string string and one integer suppose if it is taking imagine one string and one integer and logic with return value it has to return something whatever no matter based on the concept suppose is returning one character just consider return some small a it is returning characters how can we specify with the single quotes so what is the return type what it is returning character so return type must be char so what type of data it is taking what type of data it is returning one string and one integer it is taking but it is returning return statement compulsory character it is returning so the return type is a character and next this one for example here method is a m4 is it taking anything no but it is returning for example it is returning like a 2.34 it's a double value so return type should be double so what type of data is returning right so based on that you have to collect what type of data it is taking based on that you should pass so what is that collect and pass see while calling the method you will understand suppose here method definition is ready now i want to invoke i want to call the method i want to call the method so how to call m1 method simple and you know the points in java if it is a static method you have to call using the class name if it is instance method you have to call using the object name object reference variable right that you know but just i am just calling if it is m1 we just call like this m1 m1 is it taking anything no it is not taking anything so please don't pass anything calling means just a single statement calling means just a single statement it is not taking invoking or accessing or calling anything the method is not taking anything so please don't pass anything the method is not returning anything so please don't collect into anything next invoke the m2 method invoke the m2 method see look at this whenever i am calling m2 method what it is taking what it is taking two integers it is taking two integers so you have to pass two integer values how to pass you can pass the values directly like 10 comma 20 10 and 20 will go on store into the values a b a value and b and you have an another chance for example instead of passing the values directly sir first i am taking like this int x is equal to 10 y equals to 20 now i am calling the method passing x comma y through variables i am passing any objection no directly you can pass values and next we are taking variables x and y through x and y we are passing values to m2 but how you invoke no matter here what you have to do a very very important thing very very important thing 
A value and B value you should pass and both should be integers only. Other types not allowed. And is it returning anything? No. So no need to collect. And next the third one. Third one invoke. Invoke. Now M3 method I am invoking. So what I have to pass? String. Let me take A, B, C, D is a string. Next, int, comma, int I am passing. And what it is returning also important now, that return value you should catch like this. Into what type of variable, care. Variable name is your wish. Any variable name you can use. What it is taking, string and integer. You must pass one string and one integer. How can you represent the string with double quotes? And you should collect into a character type variable. Next, the fourth one, invoke. Is it taking anything? No, it's not taking anything. It's not taking anything. So don't pass anything. But you are collecting into what type of variable? What it is written in double? Any variable you can choose. So there are, these are the four types of classifications available and very, very important. Once you are perfect, that how to invoke the methods, how to define the methods and how to invoke the methods, every single program you can easily understand in entire Java from the very basic to the frameworks level. Hope you understood. Please practice. Thank you.